think I'll go to bed. Yeah, me too. Yeah, same. Oh, I put all this stuff away. Oh, I was supposed to ring the florist. Oh, Shauna, completely forgot. Your mum rang this morning, she wants you to ring her. Oh, don't worry about it. It couldn't have been that important, otherwise she would have rang me back. I'll call her tomorrow, it's too late now. Who is that this time of night? Hey, Sarah. Oh, I should have guessed. Leah! Hey, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I was a bit worried about you. I wasn't sure if you got home all right. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, well, you know me, Bubs. No, I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact you were home alone in an empty house. No. Or watching really spooky movies. What are you talking about? What are they talking about? Nothing. Leave them alone, OK? No, I'm glad you came over, because I was starting to feel a bit nervous after the movie myself, wasn't I, guys? Mm, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'd feel a lot better if you stayed on the couch tonight. Do you mind? You would feel better? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you mind? No, not at all. It'd be a service. I'd be protecting the house. Exactly, you would be. Great. OK, well, I'll grab you some pillows and some blankets and you'll be right. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you in the morning. <laughs> Still pretending to be scared of horror movies, I see. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Works a treat, doesn't it? You're incorrigible, Vinny. <gasps> Sally, you heard him last night, OK? It's obvious who Kimmy is. He's seeing someone else. It's the only explanation. Huh? No answer. She must have gone shopping or something. Look, I'm really sorry I didn't give you the message earlier, Shauna. Don't worry about it. I haven't phoned her for a while, so she's probably just ringing to check up on me. Morning, ladies. Morning. Did you sleep well? No residual effects from the movie? No. Hey, um, can I talk to you about something? Uh, sorry, babe. Look, I've really got to go home and get changed for work, OK? Catch you later. Toasted ham and cheese for number six. Oh, you're not still doing that omelette. For heaven's sake, girl, you're supposed to stir it, not beat it to death. Sorry, Colleen, I just can't seem to concentrate. Come on out with it. What's bothering you? Finny. Oh, I suppose it was a silly question. What's he done now? Well, he stayed at our place last night. Oh, on the couch, that is. Don't tell me he tried something. Not after I defended that boy to your father or wait till I no, get my hands no, on no, him. No, it wasn't that. Not that at all. What was it then? Well, when he was sleeping, he called out a girl's name. And the way he said it, it's obvious that they're more than just friends. Oh, that... That... Well, what was her name? Kimmy. Oh, I called out Lancy's father the same way. Her name was Pat. He tried to tell me it was some bloke from work. I said to him, well, if that was a man you were crying out for like that last night, I think we need to have a long talk. She was a floozy of a barmaid. He ran off with her that afternoon. But do you really think Vinnie would cheat on me? Well, they do say the truth comes out when you're asleep. It's like when you're under hypnosis. They've done studies on it. Oh, what am I going to do? Have it out with him once and for all. Tell him you know all about it. And then watch his face and you'll know. Oh, yes, dear, you'll know. Finny. Leah, babe, what's happening? Hey, we need to talk. Sounds serious. It is, and I want you to tell me the truth. Oh, OK, sure. Take a seat, babe. No, I don't want to sit down. Look, are you seeing someone else? What? No. No, of course not. Where'd this come from? Finny, there's no use denying it, OK? I know all about Kimmy. Kimmy? How do you know about Kimmy? Yeah, well, well, you were dreaming about her last night and it sounded like you were having a pretty good time as well. I was? I was dreaming about Kimmy? Yes, you were talking about her in your sleep. Everybody heard as well. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. 
So it's true then. Colleen was right. About what? About sleeping. It's like being hypnotised and you have to tell the truth. Leah, Princess, I think if you met Kimmy, you'd understand. Met her? You want me to meet her? How can you say no, that? No, no, no. It's nothing like that, I swear. Oh, it's nothing. You just cheat on me and you say it meant nothing. Great. Well, at least have some respect for her anyway. What? What are you laughing at? You think breaking someone's heart's funny, do you? No, 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 no. Not at all. Look, give me an hour. I'll find Kimmy and you can meet her for yourself, okay? I think you'll like her. No, I can't, okay? I won't. I don't, no. Come, meet Kimmy, and then if you decide that you never want to see the V-Man again, I will understand. That's cool. But please, if I ever meant anything to you, meet me back here in an hour, okay? One hour, babe. Hi. How'd you go? Did you get the truth out of him? Well, he wants me to meet her. Oh, the barefaced cheek of it. You're not going to do it, are you? Well, he sort of begged me. He said if he ever meant anything to me that I'd come and meet her. You know what he's hoping, don't you? What? He's hoping that the two of you will become the best of friends and you can share him. He wants to get you into one of them menagerie things. Well, don't you have anything to do with it. You go down there and scratch your eyes out. All right, where is she? Oh. Now, before I introduce you, I want you to keep an open mind. No, okay. I came down here to meet her and she's not here. So if, if she's not coming, then forget about it. You will. Soon. Are you trying to talk me into some sort of arrangement? No. I don't share Kimmy with anyone. It's not funny, okay? It's not funny at all. I don't deserve it. Is she coming or isn't she? In a second. You'll meet her in a second. Now, something ought to run past her first. Kimmy is actually a he, not a she. That's it. That is it. We're finished. What, Leah? I thought it was funny. Leah! What? Leah, meet Kimmy. Kimmy, meet Leah. We've been my best friends since I was two. We've been through some good times and we've been through some hard times. I don't know why I was dreaming about him the other night. Hey, hey what's going on, You're here! Oh. What did you tell me? Why do you trust idiot? me? What are you making? Stupid! He's got a sore fall. Come in. Hello. Well, did you meet his little bit of fluff? Kimmy, yeah, I met Kimmy, but there was a lot more than just a little bit of fluff, though. There was wads of it. I hope you scratched her eyes out. Ah, uh, no, nah, that wouldn't have been fair. He only had one and, well, that was pretty much falling off, too. What are you talking about, girl? Did you say he? Leah? 